So, hello and welcome back to another episode of Ubisoft 4. We're of course playing with the World of Agrimens Alice mod as the Kingdom of Anvilmar. And we are currently a bit struggling with governing capacity. That is currently our main bottleneck. And we do have potential solutions towards that bottleneck. But at the same time... The question is if we really want to do that because it would be a lot of work <laughs> to deal with. Now one thing that we could do is just start replacing all of the uh, uh, a bunch of buildings with state government stuff, whatever it's called here. Garrison it's called here. Oh. Oh, someone. <coughs> Why can I not convert this? Or is that, did it just convert itself? I guess it is just converted itself. The age has also taken over, so we're alright with that. But yeah, we could technically do that by... Uh so maybe I've done this too much now. The bastards. But where was I? <coughs> but yeah, we could technically do that, but that would be a lot of work. <laughs> to get done. I, f I mean, it would give us a 25%. I think that's basically negating that. Yeah, it would go down to 95%. That's basically negating. Another thing that we could do, technically, is just attack Blood Sail to take over these colonies. They would not uh, take anything. Of course, White Blade also exists. But that would be an option, technically. Of course, we need a reason. There's all, I mean, there's a lot of de uh, there's a lot of people involved, but in the end, does that really matter? You are still getting some boats. Yeah. Okay. I guess we need to wait for this anyway. In the meantime, I guess we could do the claims. Of course, we need to spy on Sandala itself for that. Still, I mean, at least still we have options. Uh, let's do that with the crime syndicate, right? Yeah. There's no one. There's there's no uh, thingy here. Stop! Stop spawning. I'm just gonna leave these guys here. That's getting ridiculous. There we go. Colonist also does something, King Bran is strict. I mean, I guess it gives us somewhat of a thingy, 130%. That's an option. Otherwise, we still have the hope that this one gives us Imperialism, the last step. There's still hope, as always. Alright, we're also doing this stuff here. Don't forget that. So once we're 50 again, we can check. So we were the magical society, I think, we were thinking about. But there is technically no reason to switch, right? Yeah. State religion, we're gonna just keep it as it is. Prime, oh, the right, the prime again, I did because I'm not sure if this is gonna cause trouble. And I'm still not sure, so I'm gonna leave it as it is. This one also looks like it's gonna stay with townships and cities. Yep. Law enforcement seems also completely alright. Warrior culture. <laughs> Strong authority. There's gotta, there gotta be some there's gotta be something somewhere, right? This one has stability loss. And we are now basically towards the end, so I don't assume that I will find anything, but because I would have probably already switched over to that. That's got me capacity, but there's, there, there's admin efficiency, so I don't think I want to change. Hmm. 
Yeah, that seems like basically it. So what we can do now is start with the expand administration or we're gonna start centralizing. That's the two options that we have now. I mean, this centralizing this doesn't do anything, right? Gives us 20%. It costs 50. Hmm. I mean, that is, that is more than just that, but I think we're gonna go up to 50 here, right? Yeah. So. Oh, we still have stuff to state. Oh, okay. <laughs> didn't even realize, didn't even know that. Good to know. So. Seems like we're a bit slow on that, but I think that's everything. Yes. We have 131 now. Monument research. Corruption is gone very fast. I needed a 6,000 development. Oh, and we can take another one here. Now, of course, sadly enough, there's nothing left with uh, the right stuff. Yeah, we're just gonna do the advisor pool. I guess now we could start attacking Stormwind. We have a lot of admin and such. They deserve it, after all. Of course, everybody joins. Oh, right, we don't have a castle spell liar. We need a new castle spell liar. <laughs> Oh, we don't only have conquests. I mean, that's so... Sh I mean, we are, we're gonna lose, like, easily 500 Diplo points from that, right? At least. Can't, we can't really do anything about it. But I, I guess I need to do something. I don't want to just sit around and do nothing. This is also growing very slowly because of counter-espionage. Yeah, it would be 20 more years for this to pop up even. So, yeah, I'm just doing. I'm just going. Mm -hmm. I'm just going better than I ever did. Feeling like a true survivor. Feeling like a little kid. I'll keep this one rolling. This has not really suffered. So. Now we have... I, I don't really care what we claim. Let's let's do something silly. Now numbers wise we are actually... Okay. They seem to be a little bit heavy on the artillery side. Not gonna lie. They have on their own. So. They're probably gonna cover this whole area here. But that's not much we can do about that. Oh, this is separate, okay. You... March in... We of course need to be a bit careful that we don't accidentally... Are two separate. What if, this is, was this a modifier or what was that? <laughs> oh, there is an army here. Technically, I think we're gonna quickly get you, get you back over. And otherwise, these guys are dead. There's like no discussion about that. This is not a real navy. Nope. Luckily enough, this is a conquest war, so... We'll see what happens. I mean, we just basically have to wait this stuff out, don't we? This is also so little of my development that it shouldn't matter. It's gonna burn a little bit. Obviously. Oh, you guys just made it over there. Okay. I would actually give you an admiral. Not not sure if it helps anything. 
Enslaved remnants doesn't really seem like a thing that the good guys do, but hey, what do I know? <laughs> oh, you're actually done with this. Okay, yeah, then. Keep moving. Uh, you guys keep moving as well. Oh, Navy gets more. Oh, 12th at war. Oh, what a coincidence. Lucky. And we're gonna just. For Storm with itself, we don't need much. So there's no need to really delve into that. Of course they're taking forever around here to actually get something siege down because I'm dwarves. <laughs> right? Yeah, it's a bit offensive what I have here. Okay, we do have Stormwind armies trying to make a run for it. And there they reconsider. We immediately go down. Talas occupied something. Oh, over there. Sadly enough, nobody's g nobody wants to do things here. That's that's a bit of a shame. I would love to have someone sh uh, uh, show up. So you run all the way around. We have admin left over. I think it's time to continue with the stuff here. So, I mean, I mean, I know that this war is going to last a while. So, why not just use up everything? Okay, we can tell these guys to stop. You're getting annihilated there. You guys deal with this one. These guys are probably m marching their way back up. Yep, there's a hundred k. I mean, if they want to run on a hundred k, I'll allow it. There we go. We are crushing through this territory rather substantially. Do -do 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 Yeah, that also works. I mean, I guess we don't need to do that. <laughs> Alright, so let's wait for this to be punched through. You guys are all making your way around here. I guess we can now move you guys over there, so that's that. One Stormwind army has left. A general has left as well. Luckily enough. Do we have anything? I guess we could quickly separate one more step. Maybe they are being silly and put an army there. And look at them go. They're actually getting something done, right? Oh. Well, that's not what I wanted. Will you arrive in time? I mean, we're taking a lot less damage, but that doesn't mean that... Okay. Made them run, I guess. Inflation, development cost. So, Darkshire's down. Not much left to punch through. Uh, we can do with this one, though. Seems to be spending quite a lot of time on this. Yeah, this stuff is done. Let's just put the armies around and get the rest of Stormwind occupied. We'll see how long they hold. Hmm. The good thing is all of this will be occupied by Lordaeron and stuff like that. I'm I'm not sure how much war score I'm gonna get from this. I hope not enough to make it uh, so that it matters. If not, we might have to do an invasion northwards. To be honest, maybe we'll just get something started.
I mean, I wouldn't mind clashing with... I told you to stop. I literally told you to stop. Right? I told this particular navy to not do this anymore. What do they do? Ah, fuck it. Cancel mission. Fuck's sake. How often do we need to teach you this lesson, old man? <laughs> Alright, let's quickly get this army over here. And then we just start the move. Let's see how much we can get over. Okay, that's not much. So, let's press them into their last hiding holes. Are they running away? That's a good question. Okay, so this would be a fight. They're running to Anvilmar, as far as I remember. That is a way that they can go to. Oh, you can only uh, do that, I see. Well, yeah, then punch through, through that. Yep, Anvilmar. I mean, it's... I've got these guys over here to deal with this. You guys separate, of course. No need to... Be completely stunted. And then just finish this up. Storm with itself. Oh, this is also an island. Well, let's quickly make sure that this is occupied. Mm -hmm. Three, I mean, yeah, it's really punching up to a number. Can't deny that. Okay, it seems like we have dealt with these. Stormwind has no army left. So they are sad at least. Okay, this has been done. Let's see how many we can carry over. So, and then we're gonna get these three also over. It shouldn't be too difficult. They're not making landfall anywhere, are they? No. Let's quickly position everybody around before we make the decision where to put whom. So, you can finish this up. This is an open field. There's not a fort that needs occupying. And the dwarves are most certainly at war. So there is a lot of army here. Stormwind keep falls. Okay. Yeah, I use the old dwarven tactic of just waiting, it's just not kicking it anymore. We're gonna leave you with that army. Let's make sure that all of this stuff down here is occupied. At least that's stuff that we can reach. Now, of course, we do want to quickly make sure that this is dealt with. Uh, doesn't really, don't really need that. So, just making sure that you guys are not disturbing me. I'm gonna quickly repair. So you're actually trying to fight me here. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, we don't have much war score on you yet, right? Yeah, we're still kind of struggling with this stuff here. These guys are finishing up these sieges. Hmm. <laughs> 
There we go. I think Stormguard is... I mean, we're not gonna conquer them on the side, are we? That feels not correct. Nah, let's not... I think a simple piecing out will be sufficient. Political crisis. No. I disagree. I'm also worried about the strength of the elves, I have to admit. <laughs> I have to feel that they might be uh, a lot tougher than expected. Yeah, they're making their way towards 10%. They might even make demands instead of waiting. Uh, we have Diplo points. Let's spend some of them. Despite the expenses. So. This is clearly the symbol of cultural simulation. <laughs> Just replacing them. So... And there's a military tactics in the next one, so we do want that before we engage into any tomfoolery. And I guess we can also do all of this. The good thing is, if with the desieging, I just need the forts. I don't need to do anything else, really. I just need the forts. So... Just make your way over. I guess we could already send someone here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Not that defensive, really. Well, luckily the dwarves are at war. <laughs> oh, well, are we enforcing that? No. This, I have to say, I'm not doing too badly here. <laughs> I've seen worse fights from my side. Wait, we're winning that? <laughs> uh, how the fuck are we winning that fight? <laughs> Well, I guess the eye is as stupid as I am when it comes to uh, moving uh, troops. Was fun. And I had a penalty as well. I had a clear penalty. Now that's just hilarious. And I'm probably also behind on tech as well. Okay. Uh, religious ideas? Uh, we, had, we just did religious ideas. Next. No, we did elitism. Fuck me. Uh, economic, development, administration, that's three, four, okay. Then tyranny, militarization, quality, and elitism. Alright, so we're on an even ground. Is there anything here that, like, uh, gives me governing capacity? Libesire, step cost. Doesn't look here. Absolutism. There's statewide governing cost in absolutism. And a lot of absolutism in absolutism. That actually would allow me to go to give the nobility control again and get even more governing capacity. I think that might be a thing. There's, this is a small state governing cost. Uh, we know that there's nothing here that is interesting. Right? No. Because we're not uh, military-wise, we have done so well now. I guess we're going to go for absolutism. Let's also do splendor, economic, development cost. Yeah, development cost at this point. Oh, we do also have the build time here, but we don't need that anymore. We have this full. I have to say, this just, con this just caught me completely off guard. Actually, me being able to uh, crush their armies like that. Yeah, they have like no morale in comparison to me. How are your armies so shit? I 
explain that to me. <laughs> I can just do whatever the fuck I want with these guys. <laughs> like there's nothing else to be said. We can also block this for them from crossing back over, so that they need to keep retreating here. <coughs> Excuse me. I have a naval invasion. Oh, well. We have a naval invasion on a very unimportant place. <laughs> the quality of our troops is impressive. <laughs> I agree. Except nothing cannot wipe them. That would be too good. Uh, Kul Terras is part of this, and I assume that they are absolutely, yeah, yeah, as expected. This might be an issue. Do they have to... I mean, I guess we could make our way around here. That's no, no problem, actually. So Stormguards, we had 46%. I mean, I guess I just want to kick them out, obviously. Yeah, we're sad enough not getting a wipe in that. That's just too big. But there we there they separate. And make my life easier. Okay. I think Stormwind we probably have done quite well. Let's get this army over here. And uh, me being worried that their armies are too strong. Hilarious. <laughs> Yeah, this is getting a bit more bloody. You can already come here. At least we see everything down. Oh. I feel like Lord Runner's actually not gonna really be... You know what, I'm just moving my armies around like this. Screw it. I don't care. Can we, can we finally wipe something? This is getting, this is getting ridiculous. This is getting a bit harsh. Let's just run these armies down here. Yeah, I'm just gonna send single armies around. Uh... Darushaya. Don't know what that is. So I guess I'm done. Oh, yes, was you. But the, the only issue now, of course, is that I'm getting probably too cocky. Probably. But, I mean, can you, uh... Deny the cockiness when I see this kind of stuff happening? 200k army getting deleted. Or not really deleted, but defeated by, uh... 30k dudes. <laughs> So it seems like Stormguard is a lot more defensive than Lord Run because we're crushing through Lord Run's defenses. I mean, there's also plenty of war score, I would say. But we are the problem that this doesn't really finish the war, <laughs> to be honest, this, or the, the, these armies. I also like that this is not finishing up either, this, this siege here. You can actually go over and start sieging this. Can you actually go here? Oh, you can, lovely. Do I just uh, tell them to run back and forth? I mean, there's nothing really dying here. You guys not recovering either? Let's just tell them a little bit. If nothing else, the armies are co the armies are occupied. Do we have anything strange happening here? No. There we go. Finally. Uh, anything else? I guess you could make your way over here. There we go. One put. Like I said, storm guard is probably done. I think we... No, it's actually you continue on here. And I need this way to go to... Uh, Hope let's chase these guys down. We 
Okay, you can't really get anywhere until we have these sieges broken. You can finally make it to Gweltella, so they get also a little bit of love. I mean, I guess we're also gonna send this army over. You guys are actually not connected. This is <laughs> this is also hilarious. Uh, you're making sure that these guys drop. I mean, if you don't have anything to do here. Why even take these difficult uh, these uh, uh, ca these cautions anymore? Let's just go balls to the walls. There we go. There's a little bit of a murder happening. Slowly but surely deleting those armies. Oh, you're done with your back and forth? Well, I'm not done. No, you're also done. Till we collapse. Hmm. There we go. One done. You're just gonna make your way over here. Dalaran is freed. With a rather quick fashion, I guess. Oh. That's alright. Altadak is also freed. That is gonna help out quite a bit. You're just gonna... Start going around. <coughs> yep, there's nothing really stopping us. That army's not getting hurt. Oh no, they're hiding on the island. Cool, cool. Uh, you quickly do this. Maybe that's gonna give us a little bit more kill power. In, in, in comparison, my army didn't feel that strong, right? Like when we were fighting something else, it was it, it was still a reasonable kind of thing. Military leader left us. Where? Oh, you. Yeah. Getting tired of all of this nonsense. Understandable. Do I even need you over there anymore? Don't, f don't even think so. Make your way back down. I would. These guys are sitting around too. Happily. Oh, start home. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Now you're finally dying. Uh, yeah, we're running out of forts here to siege, to be honest. I guess our artillery is slowly but surely doing its work. Right. Scout Tower, Hillbreds Fields. Okay, that is finally is done. Uh, do I still need you, Lordaeron? I mean, one thing that I would like to do is you're no longer allied to Stormwind, Keltalas, Kultalas, or Stormguard. <laughs> you can guarantee the Frost Wolves if you want. I, I, I don't mind that. So, that, has, that completely swings that over. You are getting black flagged, I assume. Yeah. And I guess we're just leaving these armies over here then. If we don't need them. I mean, I guess one thing that could come up, which is probably still gonna come up, is that uh, uh, rebellions and such, but. Who cares about that? Really? Let's see if this one is a problem. If I'm take, Do I'm taking too much of a step here? I mean, it hurt. It def definitely hurt. But I guess we don't have the, all of the bonuses yet. Quetalas, uh, uh, are you willing to stay in this war? I mean, I guess Kultiras is also... Uh, yeah, Kultiras is gonna be annoying, because we can't just say, hey, go go away. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Maybe we maybe we do we do the truths. Oh, I, I like uh, we we tried it uh, once to get them out by uh, canceling the alliance, but that's it. I think that's our only option, because we cannot ship over to Kultiras. This is impossible. There's no argument about that. Their boats are too boaty. And who are we to do anything about that? Uh, we're ju I'm just gonna quickly spread out these armies a bit. Just so that we can uh, deal with potential problems that are gonna arrive. Okay. I mean, we, we, we uh, hmm. I mean, I wouldn't call this a win necessarily. They seem to be also t doing a lot more than uh, the others. Uh, generals left. Yeah, these guys don't no longer have anything to do. I mean, that should be a full army tradition, right? Yeah. I mean, I guess the global dice roll, bonus, uh, uh, dice roll bonus is also doing something. There is a call for peace. Well, Talos looks like it's no, no longer wants to do anything. But they're still allied to uh, Stormwind and that I do not want. So, Kel Talos. Uh, let's also quickly hurt you guys because you deserve it. I'm actually really waiting for this research because it's gonna give us even a, an even bigger defensive boost. That's gonna be uh, that's gonna be neat. Uh, admin, we can easily just do that, and with the next absolutism in Greece, we can do something else. So, so Kultiatas also wouldn't mi probably wouldn't mind piecing out. I will soon at least. Do I just do I just take Fundal Spawn? So I actually have this connection here? I think I'll actually do that at least. Just this little one. Uh wait a second, that's not what I wanted. Stormguard, I want to make peace with you. I should probably also end the episode here. Yeah. Fuck. Alright, so always like the Revolution and again, I guess you guys next episode. Bye.